power method. An iterative procedure used to find numerically the largest eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector of a square matrix is known as power method. In many engineering problems, it is required to find the numerically largest eigenvalue called the dominant eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector. So, before doing power method, let's define eigenvalue of a matrix. For every square matrix A, there is a scalar lambda and a non-zero column vector x such that ax equal to lambda x. Then the scalar lambda is called an eigenvalue of A and x is the corresponding eigenvector. Let's now proceed with the problem. Find the largest eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector of the matrix A equal to 2, 3, 5, 4 by power method. Solution given A is equal to 2, 3, 5, 4. This is a square matrix. And let x0 equal to 1, 1 be the initial approximation to the eigenvector. Let's now proceed with the iteration process. Now A into x0 gives is the given square matrix which is 2, 3, 5, 4 into x0 which is 1, 1 multiplying these two matrices we get 5, 9 as the resulting matrix. Now taking the largest value outside this matrix, we get 9 into, so this element would become 1 and this will become 5 by 9, which is nothing but 9 into 0.56 and 1 which can be written as lambda 1 into x1. That is, the first approximation to the eigenvalue is lambda 1 is equal to 9 and the corresponding eigenvector is x1 equal to 0.561. Now, the second iteration will be A into X1, which is 2, 3, 5, 4 into X1 is 0 0.56, 1. So, when we multiply these two matrices, we get 4.12 as the first element and 6.8. So taking the largest value 6.8 outside the matrix, we get 6.8 into 0 0.61 and here we have 1 which can be written as lambda 2 into x2. Repeating the iteration process, we can get AX2, which is 2, 3, 5, 4, multiplied with X2, 0 0.6, 1. 
So now we get the resultant matrix as 4.22 and 7.05. Now taking the largest element 7.05 outside the matrix, we get 0.61, which can be written as lambda 3 into x3. Let's now proceed with one more iteration, namely a into x3, which gives 2354 into x3 is 0 0.6 into 1. So here we get 4.2 and 7. Now taking 7 outside the matrix, we get 7 into 0.6 as the first element. And here we get 1, which is written as lambda 4 into x4. So now we observe that the values of lambda 3 and lambda 4 and also x3 and x4 are same. Therefore, we can stop the iteration process and conclude that the largest eigenvalue is 7 and the corresponding eigenvector is 0 0.61. Note that for a square matrix of order 2, the initial approximation to the eigenvector can also be chosen as x0 equal to 1, 0, r, 0, 1. Similarly, for a square matrix of order 3, one of these can be chosen as x0.